Today we'll be looking at uh, linear regression. We use linear regression when we want to find a relationship, the simplest relationship between uh, two variables. Uh, in a data set, uh, let's look at a data set first. Uh, that then we'll uh, discuss this in more detail and it'll be much more clear if I explain it with an example. So let me uh, open up uh, Google. Let's search for linear regression data set. So let's go here, Kaggle.com. Kaggle.com is a website which hosts a lot of machine learning competitions and um, linear regression is an integral part of machine learning as well. So let's use this graduate admission data set. So let's, uh, let's download this. You can use any data set. Basically we are looking for X versus Y values. So let me download this. Let me, uh, okay, this is a zipped file, so let me extract it. Let's go here, fine. So, uh, yeah, so let me open this up. Let me open this data set. So, what do we do in linear regression? So, for example, if you have, if you want to relate how are GRE scores of students, how are they related to their chances of admission? So this file has a lot of data, your know, GRE score, TOEFL score, university ranking and all that. But if you want a relationship between GRE score and the chances of admit, then uh, one of the methods you can use to find this relationship is linear regression. So before we, uh, before we uh, use linear regression, let's just see what this data is. So let's open up Octave here. Make sure that you are at the same place where uh, uh, you open up Octave where your files are. So if I do ls, I have these files in my current uh, working directory. All right, so how do I read that data? This data is open up in an Excel file, right? This, this is a LibreOffice uh, software, but in Windows, this would be opened in a Microsoft Excel file. So how do we read the same data into Octave? Uh, let me increase the font size here. Yeah. So a way to do that is uh, there's a function called for that. Again, in, if you're using MATLAB, you don't need to do this step, which I'm doing right now. But in Octave, you need to have this package called IO installed, and then you need to load this package. Once that's done, you can use this function called CSV read. Give it the name of the uh, input, the name of the file that you want to read, the CSV file. CSV means comma separated uh, comma separated values, and then if I run this, it reads the values, right? It, it ignores the text values, the string values. It ignored the first row because it had text. It only takes the numerical values, the numerics. So as you can see, the first one was ignored because first one is uh, text or string. So the first row here is all converted to zeros. Uh, another way to do, another better way would be, let me just ignore the first row. And I, the way I do that is, I enter 1, which means ignore the first row. And I can enter 0, which means ignore the 0th column. That means don't ignore any columns. So if I do that, then uh, I don't have this. Uh, if I do that, then if you, if you look here, the first uh, row is not 0 anymore. In fact, it did not read this row at all. It started reading from this because I told it to do that. Anyway, so I have these data with me. The data I want, uh, the data I'm interested in is the GRE score and the chances of admit. So the GRE score is the second column and the chances of admit is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the ninth column. So let me store the GRE data set in X. So, okay, I did not store this anywhere. So first let me store the output of CSV read into, for example, A, or let's just say data. This is stored in data. Now X is the first column of data. Y is the ninth column of data. Right. Now let me see how this data looks like. Looks like. So what I can do, I can plot them using this plot called uh, this is a command called scatter, which plots a scatter plot, which means it plots a point at all the x y pair values. So let me just do this x y and I have this scatter plot, right? It looks funny. Y is a 
so is it well did I do it correctly this was the second one uh -huh. x is the okay I, I read uh, the serial number I should have read the GRE score which is the second column so x is second column and y is the same now let me see it again yeah so this is how what the data looks like in a scatter plot I want to now I want to find the relationship between the GRE score and the chances of admit I want a function the simplest function and the simplest function would be a first order polynomial which is a straight line so I want uh, to fit a straight line which will give me a relationship between the GRE score and the chances of admit right that's the simplest relationship there can be right a straight line and how do you figure out how do you uh, um, how do you define a straight line in order to draw a straight line you need two things the first is the slope and the second is the intercept because y is equal to mx plus b right so you need m slope and the b intercept right so how do we do that so now we can use the concept of linear regression linear regression will let me fit a line in this data set which will give me a relationship between x and y or here the GRE score and the chances of admit so let me just write this let me exit open up a file lin reg.m just let me just you know write the same things which I have you know I, I was using the command window I was using the command window before that let me do this in the editor so I can turn all the lines at once so the first thing I do is import the data or read the data using CSV read which is uh, the name of the file was admission predict admission underscore predict dot CSV ignore the first row ignore the zeroth column right then store the second column in X and the ninth column in Y and then scatter X comma Y and hold on because I'll be plotting another things on top of this right so this is till now we have already seen what these lines do let me because I have, I have opened up pack uh, I have opened up octave again I need to load the package again let me ch check if it is recording yep okay so now if I run len reg I get this for some reason the plot is looking like this when it opens up but if I you know minimize and maximize it it looks okay again so anyway that problem shouldn't happen in your computer probably it won't happen in MATLAB for sure okay so now now let's do something let's do the linear regression part right so how do we do linear regression I don't know that yet or I don't remember so there's always Google so linear regression equation so let's um, maybe here Yeah. so this is like you can find this formula in your textbooks or any website yeah so this is the linear regression equation I told you uh, we are going to define a line that fits the data that gives a relationship between the data points right and the line is defined by a slope and an intercept so if the line has the form y equal to a plus bx we need to find the a which is the intercept by this equation and uh, b which is the slope by this equation so let me open them up side by side and just copy the equations so what's a a is the a is the intercept which is given by sum of y sum of x square so you know what it would be better if I store them separately let me store x square in x2 so this is x the dot raised to 2 means square each element of the vector right so I have x square stored in x2 I'll have xy stored in x dot y what else do we need that's it so yeah a is sum of x sum of y times sum of x square which is stored in x2 minus sum of x times sum sum of x times y which is stored in xy right so that's the numerator divided by n okay n is the total number of data set that can be given by this function called numel which counts the number of 
elements in the in the array x so numel times or you can just do it here you can you know store this in n what is n numel of x or y both have the same size so i can replace this replace this numel by simply n so n times sum of x square which is an x2 minus sum of x and that square of that right this is different from sum of x square it's the sum of x and that the square of that fine now let's write it for b again it's n numerator divided by denominator this gives all right so b right uh, what's b it's n times sum of x y okay minus sum of x times sum of y divided by n times sum of x square minus sum of x and their square so this should probably give me the values so the line is the line i'm um, after is y equals a plus bx right okay so let me uh, now that i have the equation for the line let me uh, draw this line the way i do that is um, how do i draw the line so let me uh, generate some points let me generate a linear spacing of uh, points in the linear space that means um, well <laughs> the points are separated linearly uh, so I need to specify the interval in which I want these points. So let me choose minimum of x, maximum of x, and let's say 100 points, so 1000 points in between that. Fine. And now let me plot. Let me define a function first. Let me define. All right. Let me define a function called uh, y, capital Y because I, I already have small y defined which is a function of x or maybe let's skip this step this is extra thing which you don't need so let me just you know plot xq and then write the function here itself so a plus b times xq right and let me plot it with a, a red dash dot line right and let's check if this is working so there's an error, let's get back, the error is in uh, 16, line number 16. So line number 16, where do you, it's probably got to do something with the brackets. So there's sum of x2 minus sum of x. So this is alright, this is alright. So maybe there's an error here sum of y, sum of x2, sum of, no, oh, this seems alright as well. Let me check what the error is. Parse error near line 16. Let me check this bracket is closed, this is closed, this is closed, this is closed, and this is closed. Similarly, this one's n times of x2 is closed. Sum of x square. I cannot seem to find the error over here. Why is that? Hmm. sum of y sum of x2 minus sum of x sum of xy divided by n times sum of x2 sum of x oh <laughs> okay, i don't know for what why what reason i have given an extra star asterisk there all right fine so let me check yeah so now i have got a line between so now I've got a line which defines the relationship between uh, the uh, GRE score and the chances of admit. So right. So I can define a function, right? I can define a function which gives me a plus b x. Right. So I, if I given a GRE score of let's say two thirty, what's my chances? Sorry. It's given a GRE score of 230 what's my chances all right let me appropriately name this 
G R E, and I forgot this star here. So given a given a score of 230, what are my chances? It's quite low, right? So given a score of 350, 330, the chances are 0.8, right? So anyway, I can use this relationship which I have defined to now predict the values of my chances given given a GRE score. And uh, before I end this, if you wanted to avoid all this, right? If you didn't want to, to do this at all, if you wanted to avoid using the linear regression equation, you could have done it simply by let me just comment this out, comment all these lines. Uh, so let me. Turn off this annoying sound. Right. Let me just turn all of this off. And now run it. Now run the program. Now there's a simple way to draw the line in MATLAB or in Octave. You can run this command called polyfit, which fits a polynomial given your data set. If you input one, it fits a one uh, first degree polynomial, which is a simple line, right? And the value stored in P are the value of the uh, slope and the intercept. So you wouldn't you didn't need to do all that, but anyway, that's a good way to learn how linear regression works. So given this uh, polyfit. Uh, the output of the polyfit, I can use this to plot a line. So let's plot a line. So let's do hold on first, and then I already have xq defined, so xq, and I need to evaluate this poly, uh, polynomial. So I can use a function called polyval, which takes in the polynomial and the x values, and it plots a line. Right. So we got the same line using the inbuilt MATLAB function. So I hope you were able to understand how linear regression works, at least uh, the implementation part. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.